Luscious Hadiza and this is your favorite channel Luxury Living with Hadiza So today, yes, okay first of all, let me address my baldness I am not bald guys, see my hair <laughs> I actually braided it into cornrows and this is a traditional African cornrow called matting So it makes your hair look very flat because it picks like all of your hair and of course because my hair is brown and the color of my scalp so everything just looks gone but I'm actually not bald I still have my hair and yeah natural hair journey still continues moving on today we're talking about how we stayed in the most expensive hotel in Accra it was too late it was too late you want to watch this video to the end because that hotel was just pure fire and okay so I was supposed to say this in the beginning, but you know your girl gets carried away. So this is Luxury Living with Hadiza, a channel that focuses on the vibes and Isha Allah of Africa, the best continent in the world. You know this, I know you know this. If this is your first time seeing this face, I know you want to become a part of this family because why not? So hit the subscribe button, it's totally free. Like this video, up, share with your friends and let's get more luxury content out there. Thank you guys so much. Your engagement has been making me so happy. Thank you to everyone who has been subscribing. You guys are the best and I am looking forward to growing a bigger, more amazing luxury with you guys so thank you so much and i shall be seeing you at the end of this video so walking into the kempinski this name always makes my tongue go like uh, <laughs> But I guess we'll wing it. Walking into the Kempinski, you can see that it's very nicely laid out. Um, of course, they have the regular security check-ins at the gate. So I and Shelly decided to walk so we can get um, a proper overview of the grounds of the hotel. So walking into the hotel, the first thing that caught my attention was that they had loads and loads of manicured lawns, green areas and trees all over the place, which I found just very calming and very welcoming. The Kempinski um, franchise was first started in 1897 in Berlin in Germany, and now they can boast of 78 high-end luxury hotels scattered in about 34 countries of the world the kempinski in accra was founded in 2015 so this hotel has been in existence for roughly eight years and counting my first impression of this place was that the staff are very warm and welcoming walking into the lobby you can see that it gives that five star quality Put this um, hotel anywhere in the world and it will still give you that five star experience that you're looking for very tasteful and thoughtful um, furnishing around the place very warm engaging and welcoming staff here we were walking towards the help desk the welcome desk rather to get our keys because we were just checking into the hotel and we had an amazing friend at the hotel george and he made our stay such an exciting experience. Oh. <laughs> I have the key over to my phone, so I wanted to take it from her. So I need to give it a new one. <laughs> Hold on. Hi, George. Hi. Introduce yourself to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so we sorry. are famous, just in case you don't you don't know us, but oh, we're famous. Really? Trust me. <laughs> yes. So, <Okay. laughs> market yourself as the best staff of Kempinski. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So this is the sum. We are keeping basically for less. Okay. So basically, what we do here is um, we assist our guests through okay. check in and check out processes. Uh -huh. As you can see, I'm about to have a key to my cherished guest here. Cherished guest. Cherry. <laughs> Cher, why do you keep saying my name wrong? <laughs> Everybody keep calling me Sherry or Shirley. Shirley. <laughs> you said Shirley now. <laughs> Just not my name. No, so mention it, 
So typically, a night at the Kempinski starts from $350 and it can range to as high as $1,000 depending on the time of the year you're visiting, the floor you're staying and the type of room you're also staying at. So we finally got our room keys and we moved on to the next stop, our rooms. Wow, oh my god, the bed, this bed is as big as, wow. You can see the Ferris wheel, <laughs> the dust. Oh my gosh, not the dust. We were cracking up so much in this shot because we had actually entered the room already. But I told Shelly to come back out and give us a tour of the room like we hadn't entered into it before. So it was giving influencers trying to influence and it was just so funny. <laughs> but generally, my impressions of the rooms were they were very big very spacious you know you didn't need to feel like you're in each other's way there was a lot of room for boxes a lot of room generally um the bathroom area was really nice i liked the double door style that it had um, for the bathroom entry and then the warm lighting too was really nice they had all the toiletries that you need in place the only thing i felt was kind of out of place was the bathtub shower area the style of the bathtub is rather archaic nobody really uses this type of bathtubs in luxurious hotels anymore and to enter into that bathtub or more if you are short then hmm somebody has to carry you inside <laughs> because it's literally as high as i don't even know how i forgot to take a proper shot of that um bathtub it's very high you know we literally had to climb inside and i'm tall i'm like five eight but i had to feel like i was climbing into the bathtub but aside from that the rest of the facilities were um very cool they had a phone just in case you get stuck in the toilet i'm guessing that's what that for that's for they had robes they had um lots of towels that they always changed every day which was very nice and um generally they had everything that a bathroom is supposed to have so the next day we visited the recent spa the european spa also located at the hotel this is one of the many luxurious services that are offered by the hotel we were getting a massage that day so this was me getting ready for my massage time um all the facilities offered by the spa are actually free well not all most of the facilities so you have this hot bed are free you have the jacuzzi it's free you have the sauna it's also free but the massages and the facials you pay for that so after we were done with our massages we headed over to this private room very luxuriously done full of scented candles aromatherapy oils just to you know give you that further feeling of being relaxed you're offered tea coffee juice anything you want in this waiting space and when you're done you can go get changed and leave so this basically is just a shallow space for you to flex after your massage Another interesting space that caught my attention is the gallery. I loved the art all over the hotel. I feel like it's the same artist that did most of the art. So this is me heading over to look at um, the gallery and I just decided to take a little shot of the um, lobbies before the rooms as well very beautiful as you can see you have your fresh table of apples every day um in the waiting area there's the art in the corner and then there's the art walking towards the mirror mm -mm -mm. come on and then <laughs> getting into the elevator so when you get down into the elevator and you come off the elevator to your left it leads you straight to the gallery this is the gallery 
i didn't get all the information on this place because the day i went was at night and almost all the staff had gone to bed already i don't know why i was wandering around that late but you have a nice history of ghana there and then you have a lot of spectacular artwork you know just the focus on art in this hotel is actually very very beautiful next up is my favorite part of this hotel this is the indoor garden the day we got here they were actually having a wedding in this place and they had transformed the place so beautifully but this is what it looks like on a normal day a lot of lush vegetation green area perfect for meditation perfect for just sitting down relaxing working anything you want to do this was my bestest part of this hotel i sat in this garden every night until we left i came down here to meditate and this is what the garden looked like at night because it was christmas season so of course they had their christmas lights all out and it was just the most calming zen space you know whoever's idea it was to have this courtyard in this space they actually need a race it's pure perfection <laughs> I bet you thought that was Asha, right? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, um, the gallery bar is the bar next to the gallery. And I guess that's why it's called the gallery bar. It's a chill spot where you can have your drinks, your food. And then they had this amazing lady and her instrumentalist entertaining us for the night. And the music was just sublime. The cocktails range from 200 CDs while the food ranges from 500 CDs. We actually didn't get to try their food, but based on the breakfast buffet, I'm sure it would have slapped. And that leads me to the breakfast buffet, which happens at the Pavilion restaurant. The Pavilion restaurant is a world-class standard restaurant that caters not just to breakfast but also to meals at every other time of the day i don't know how i forgot to take a proper shot of the breakfast buffet but trust and believe that they have everything imaginable on their menu from traditional Ghanaian dishes to western intercontinental dishes and we never missed the breakfast buffet all the while we were there it was always a hit back to back So last but not least, this brings us to the final spot we're going to be featuring of this hotel in this video and this was one of my absolute favorite parts of this hotel anybody that knows me knows how much i love 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 water so i really 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 enjoyed being by this poolside the kempinski poolside has a very huge olympic um size pool and if you're a good swimmer you can easily swim the length and breadth of it there are cabanas you can sit under their day beds for you to just lie on and just you know do a little bit of sunbathing there are pool parties 
parties that usually happen here but there was no pool party on the day that we came sadly um in general i really really enjoyed this experience i love to swim and we spent a long time that day you know relaxing in the pool so that brings us to the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching it really helped me so much if you like if you subscribe if you enjoy this video i would totally appreciate a like and a subscribe and even a share maybe a share maybe a share from you <laughs> so my review of the campaigns key i will give it an 8 over 10 i felt like it was all in all a very worthwhile experience the staff were very friendly very courteous i enjoyed their attention to detail and you know the experience was generally a very good one they could work on the pricing a little bit but aside from that it was an amazing experience thank you guys once again for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye